What's going on, everybody? It's the Mass Man here today, and I want to make a video about listening. Um, this video is a follow-up to a video I did on the rapper Killer Mike. I did a video titled um, "Is Killer Mike Cooning for Bernie Sanders?" and a video that I intended to be about one person. Killer Mike um, got me into an argument with with a few people in the comments over Bernie Sanders. Now, I made the video about Killer Mike to be about Killer Mike. I do not know enough about Bernie Sanders to be for or against Bernie Sanders. I know a little bit. I know a couple of his talking points. I know he wants $15 minimum wage. I know he wants free college tuition. But other than that, I'm not intimately familiar with Bernie Sanders. I look at Bernie Sanders, you know, kind of like the positive charge to Donald Trump's negative charge. The thing that makes both of them serious candidates is how much people are sick of politics as usual. How much people are sick of the normal business operations in Washington. And now people are getting to a point where they want something radically different. On the Republican side, people want, you know, what appears to be a flaming bigot um, saying any and everything that he can say in order to um, get attention. And on the Democratic side, you got Bernie Sanders, somebody who wants to retool and restructure and reconfigure America from the ground up. <clears throat> so when it comes to those two candidates, I, when it comes to Bernie Sanders in particular, I don't really have a position on Bernie Sanders. If he becomes the Democratic nominee, I will look into his policies and I will look into his politics. I will I will weigh the pros and the cons. I made a video about Killer Mike comparing Dr. King to Bernie Sanders and saying that pro black means that you're anti-war, pro-marriage rights for everybody, and something else that I can't recall. That's what the video was about. The video was about Killer Mike acting as a representative for the black community and not advocating for what the black community should be getting from any and every person who's running for office. It shouldn't be about, well, my opinion is it shouldn't matter who's in office. They should do something for black folks. They should make promises to black folks. But if Killer Mike believed that Bernie Sanders is the candidate that's going to best suit the black community, then he needs to endorse Bernie Sanders as an individual, not as a representative of the black community. That was the point I was trying to make. And maybe it was my fault for not doing a good enough job. But even when I explained what the video was about in the comments, people didn't care about what I was saying. They saw me taking an issue with what Killer Mike was saying as an attack on Bernie Sanders. And they went into defensive mode to protect Bernie Sanders instead of really listening to what I was saying about Killer Mike. Because very few, I don't think, I don't think anybody 
in the comment sections came to Killer Mike's defense. They were just saying why um, Bernie Sanders really is like Dr. King and how great of a, of a candidate that that Bernie Sanders would be. I don't think anybody came to Killer Mike's defense. They didn't re they didn't really give a damn about Killer Mike one way or the other. Which is what the video was about. But they cared a whole lot about Bernie Sanders and trying to sell him to me. I I'm not against Bernie Sanders. I didn't say I was against Bernie Sanders. I'm pro black. I'm pro black community. So if Bernie Sanders will best suit the black community, if he's the best option for the black community, then he's going to be the guy that I that I go with. I don't have a big enough voice. I don't have a big enough platform to demand anything of anyone. And I wouldn't even know what to demand. But. I just want to say. That. Listening is the foundation to intelligence. A lot of people feel like they have so much information. They know so much. They're so smart. They're such an expert that you should just listen to what they have to say. But if we're trying to go from lecturing to communicating, if we want to become communicators, then listening is the foundation of communication and trying to understand what pe where people are coming from. Because even if I was wrong, even if I was dead wrong, nobody tried to address what I said because they didn't care about what I said. They cared about having an audience for the points that they want to express. They got some in their heart. They got some on their mind and they see a place where they can give their perspective. Damn having a damn communicating. Damn having a conversation. I don't care nothing about what that man had to say. That man mentioned Bernie Sanders and he wasn't sucking Bernie Sanders dick. So now it's time for me to go in this in the sell Bernie Sanders mode. But all the while, they're not even realizing that I didn't diss Bernie Sanders. I didn't diss Bernie Sanders. I didn't say he'd be a bad candidate. I didn't say vote for Donald Trump. I didn't say any of that. I didn't say vote for Hillary. I didn't say any of that. But that's what they heard because they weren't listening. And these are the people that are supposed to be so intelligent. These are the people that I'm supposed to be in awe of. Because they're so smart, but they're not even patient enough to listen to what a person has to say and then tell them what was wrong with what they said. I'm not I'm not the smartest guy in the world. I'm not an expert, but I'm trying to figure the game out. And the first thing I'm trying to figure out is how to support myself. And then when I get past that hurdle. I'm going to try to figure out the true definition of education and the true definition of communication and having healthy relationships. But I know that in my that. I know that to get to where I want to go, I got to listen to people. I got to talk because I got a YouTube channel, so I have to talk, but also have to listen. I have to listen to what people are saying. I have to listen to their critiques. I have to deal with their feedback. I have to accept when I'm wrong and I have to make adjustments and corrections. But so many people feel like they're right. And once somebody feels like they're right, they feel like they don't have to listen to you anymore. They're so smart that they've achieved a level that they don't have to listen. And that's all well and good. But are you actually successful enough that you don't have to hear people out anymore? 
if you're Bill Gates and you don't want to hear what anybody has to say to you, I can't argue that you should have to listen because you have more material wealth than some countries. But if you're if you're a guy on the Internet who won't even show your face. Who probably makes a lot more money than I do because I make zero money, but not much money at all in the scheme of things. And you're arguing with me. Then I don't I don't know that that you've achieved a level where you can afford to stop listening to people. I think if I think if we really want to get to a point where where we are super productive, super productive people, super capable people, super strong people, super intellectual people, then we have to exchange ideas. We have to swap ideas and we have to make adjustments to ideas. And mo and importantly, we have to implement ideas. But we can't do that if we don't communicate with each other. So that's what I wanted to say. I just wanted to say that listening is important. People need to learn to listen. People need to learn to hear what other people are saying, not not hear what's what they feel, not speak their feelings, not read off of a script that's in their head, but just deal with the facts of what people are saying. <clears throat> all right. That's all I had to say in this video. Let me know what you think about what I said in the comment section. Um, you can like the video, dislike the video, be honest, subscribe to my, subscribe to my channel. Um, you can email me any questions or any media stories that you hear about. I talk about all things, all things media from television to news stories. You can email me at Mr. Mass Man's business at gmail.com. That's Mass Man with an S. Um, you can follow me on Twitter at the Mr. Mass Man, Daily Motion, the Mr. Mass Man, Facebook, the Mr. Mass Man. Um, that is all I have to say about this subject, and I will see you in the next video.